How's it going? Good. Hey, I have a couple of questions for you. Have a minute? Sure. Cool. Um, so I wanted to ask you, is there something that you've made that you're really proud of? Yeah, so uh, I mean, I started on the Kubernetes project uh, pretty early on before 1.0, and I was involved with a lot of the original work for building out the Kubernetes storage and volume subsystem. So a lot of the code that does the attaching, detaching, mounting, unmounting, uh, I was very lucky to be able to actually write uh, a lot of that. And the really cool part of that is that pretty much everybody who uses Kubernetes, regardless of what system they're running on, actually uses that uh, code. So that's really, really something that I'm very proud of. I would be too, yeah, that sounds really cool. Um, how about, is there something that somebody else has excited you um, that they've done? Yeah, definitely. Um, so recently, Anthony Ye has come up with this uh, cool project called the Meta Controller, uh, and the idea here is that in Kubernetes you have you know these third-party um, custom resource definition objects, and you have controllers that can operate on them. And everything in Kubernetes is basically objects and controllers that operate on them. And this is a pattern that you can apply at a higher level, and it can be useful for things like building out a snapshot policy, which uh, Jing here recently did. And so what Anthony did is build a framework that allows you to build new controllers for new custom resource definitions very, very easily. Uh, definitely something to check out if you're, uh, if you're looking. Definitely. Well, next is coming in July. Uh, what are you most excited for, for there? Yeah, so I think one of the big uh, announcements is going to be around regional persistent disks. So I'm very excited to hear all about that. Cool. Well, so am I then. I hope to see you there. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye.